the James Webb Telescope has been active since July 12th. But why don't we see new photos other than those published by NASA? Well, actually we do. You just need to know where to look. In the next few minutes, we will explain how to do it and analyze the newest shots. A supernova, the most distant star ever seen, colliding galaxies, and even a star with rings are waiting for you. Let's start with it. In front of you is the star Wolf Riot 140. This is one of the rarest classes of stars in the universe. What makes them rare is that they're the rarest in everything. The hottest, the most massive, the most active. Actually, one of the brightest stars in our Milky Way galaxy is a Wolf Riot star WR42e. It has a luminosity of 3.2 million solars. But what matters most, Wolf Riot stars are the shortest living stars. Their entire life cycle lasts several million years. That's extremely short compared to our Sun, which can live plus or minus 10 billion years. Because of the colossal mass and activity, having lived their few million years, such stars most often explode in supernova. Because of this, the class of Wolf Riot stars is often called a pre-supernova, a star which still seems like a star but is about to explode. And a supernova explosion of a massive Wolf Riot class star can release as much energy as our entire galaxy, the Milky Way, radiates in a year in the entire electromagnetic spectrum. And that's a lot. Specifically, this photo shows the closest view of a Wolf Riot star. They've never been captured with such a zoom. Wolf Riot 140 is considered the brightest star among relatives in the Northern Hemisphere. It is located in the constellation Cygnus at a distance of 5,500 light years from Earth. The mass and temperature of Wolf Riot 140 are about 10 times that of the Sun. And in fact, it is a double star. Moreover, the companion star, SBC 91232, is much larger than WR140 and belongs to the O class, which includes blue-white giants of abnormal sizes. This particular star is 30 times heavier than our Sun. Both stars rotate at 1 to 26 distances between the Earth and the Sun. As they draw closer, their solar wind streams carry an apocalyptic disco that can be seen from tens of millions of light years away. What exactly do we see in this photo? We see peculiar rings, which are not an artifact or the result of improper processing. By the way, it was handled by an amateur from Reddit, and the photo was processed at the highest level. The rings are a consequence of the star WR140 emitting an insane amount of matter. Like other stars in this class, the WR140 is actually on its last legs. Therefore, it throws out carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and other elements in the form of dust from the upper layers. At the same time, the star's solar wind ionizes them and makes them glow. That's how we get similar photos similar to rings. In a way, the breath analogy is correct. As the massive hot star inflates, its interior cools down and the fire slows down. As a result, the pressure decreases and the star begins to deflate. As it reduces, pressure and temperatures increase. The combustion process starts and the star inflates again. The process is cyclical, resulting in a kind of inhalation-exhalation of a star on its deathbed. The gaps between them symbolize the empty spaces between the rings. What will happen next? Next will be a supernova. Sooner or later, the star WR140 will stop breathing and collapse by all the remaining substances. Depending on various factors, it may turn into either a white dwarf or a neutron star or a black hole. It will form a beautiful planetary nebula like the NGC 3132, which the James Webb Telescope has already photographed. Scientists will analyze the images to understand what exactly the dust ejected by a dying star is made of. These data will help us learn more about supernova explosions and such massive stars' activities. Thermonuclear energy is now very popular. And who knows? Maybe some of the data obtained will help scientists build reactors on Earth, but it will be later. In the meantime, we will continue to analyze the pictures. Now let's talk about a real supernova, which James Webb's photographed accidentally. The telescope is not designed for these purposes, and accordingly, no one was explicitly looking for supernova with it. However, while working with one of the frames, astronomers suddenly noticed that a bright object appeared on it which emerged and faded within five days. This is an encyclopedic description of a supernova. The photo shows it just to the right of a bright object to the left of the center. Scientists interested in it took a similar photo of the Hubble telescope from 2011 and compared the two frames. Hubble did not detect any bright spot. 
the images were overlapped to determine differences, not depending on Webb's more advanced optics, and the same bright dot burns on them. In addition to the main work, scientists received an extra one. This object has been officially given the status of a supernova candidate and will be further investigated. If the information is confirmed, there will be a real boom. The supernova is only 3 to 4 billion years old, making it one of the youngest ever observed. But no one was specifically looking for it. Astronomers have already estimated that if you try to detect supernova with James Webb, you can see how some of the first stars in the universe exploded. More specifically, stars of population 2 or even 3. They became the first helium-hydrogen-only star since the Big Bang. In the history of astronomy, there have not yet been observations of such supernova, and James Webb may set another record. The next telescope photo is also associated with records, but this time, Hubble's records. Not long ago, it found the oldest and most distant single star from Earth. Arendelle released the light we saw just 900 million years after the Big Bang. James Webb has already photographed galaxies that formed almost 200 million years after the explosion. But a huge galaxy with millions and billions of stars is one thing. And another thing is a single star, which is much more difficult to photograph. But it happened with Arendelle by pure chance. And since then, it has attracted scientists' attention. We're talking about a star that can just refer to the most ancient population 3. Moreover, James Webb's capabilities are enough to photograph and conduct a spectral analysis of Arendelle. So far, the technical part is in progress, but the Reddit people have already shared a photo of the star taken by James Webb. The contrast with Hubble is huge, and you can see Arendelle much better. The star has a mass of 50 to 100 solar masses, and its temperature is about 4 to 5 times higher. The current distance to the star, which now stands at 28 billion light years, has also been determined. This is twice as far as the star Icarus's previous record holder. If we come down from heaven to Earth, there is a 99% chance that the star Arendelle doesn't exist now. It's too massive and hot. Most likely, it evolved into a supernova a long time ago. It's just that the light hasn't reached us yet. And for dessert, let's finally talk about photos you can put on your desktop. For example, the photo IC1623 taken by James Webb. This incredible sight unfolds 274 million light years from Earth in the constellation Cetus. The frame has not been officially published, but fans from Reddit have already processed it in very decent quality. In the photo, we see a real apocalypse, the final stage of the merger of two galaxies. IC1623 was discovered in 1897, and since then, Photographs have been taken over and over again to discover even more details about what's happening during such a process. Hubble took pictures of the region in 2008 and 2021, and James Webb sent his sensors to the IC1623 in the first week of work so that you can visually compare the result. It ended up exactly in the same place as in the case of the galaxies that we analyzed in the last video. In Webb's images, there is much less dust and flare, and more details are visible. For example, in the center, the effects of gas clouds collision of two galaxies are indistinguishable, which led to the emergence of star formation regions. According to scientists, the merger of galaxies will most likely end because they will merge into one big birthplace for young stars. This has already happened with the ARP 2020 region, formed in a similar merger of two galaxies. Thanks to Webb spectrographs, scientists will study the processes that occur during collisions of such scales in more detail. Sooner or later, the same thing awaits our Milky Way, on which the Andromeda galaxy is falling. Now, as promised, let's talk about the main topic. Where can you find new photos taken by James Webb? You probably noticed that amateurs did most of the images we showed in the video. Why is that so? Because press conferences like the one that NASA held on July 12th are rare. The James Webb telescope began scientific work. And now, the results will come only when the scientists who commissioned Webb to take a certain photo decide to show it. However, there is also a workaround. All telescope data is publicly available and can be accessed in two clicks. Follow the links in the description to find all the work amateur astronomers used in the video. You can also find the instructions on getting every image, except those that the scientists decided to keep for a while. Now anyone can try themselves as a NASA employee and work with raw footage from the James Webb Telescope. If you have experience with astrophoto processing, follow the links in the description for detailed instructions on downloading and getting the original data. Who knows? 
you might be able to render the Carina Nebula even better than NASA. Let me know if you want to clip with our processing attempts in the comments section. In the meantime, we remind you that scientists will share photographs and data from Neptune and the intriguing TRAPPIST-1 system near the Sun very soon. There is quite possibly the presence of an exoplanet with living conditions. So the best part is just beginning. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bells to stay updated.